there and welcome to Neophyte.tv, the technology show, or the not so geeky. I'm like review show, we're a show. Show. Technology show. Technology show. My name's Tiffany Young. And I'm Ben Friedman. <laughs> and today is Thursday, January 4th. As you can tell, we're still so a little, still getting that eggnog out of the system. <laughs> Just a little You're bit. You're talking about me? No. No. <laughs> Talking about the eggnog. camera guy. It wasn't eggnog, Ben. It was vodka. Get it straight. <laughs> <laughs> eggnog isn't very good on a hangover. <laughs> Let's talk GPS. Oh, so we can find ourselves. That's right. That's right. Very good. <laughs> I'll tell you, GPS is my friend. Let me tell you why. Why? Well, let's just say that... You get up in the morning and maybe you're, you know, visiting someone from out of town and you think you are like Hansel and Gretel and you leave a trail of breadcrumbs in your brain. Yeah. Thinking that you know how to find your way back. Right. And you end up going on a 10 mile run instead of a three mile run, which you planned. Right. And of course, that's not going to help you if your GPS is in your car. No. And you, you know what? But I'll tell you what, you're so mad, the motivation keeps you running. There you go. I'll tell you. You're just so PO'd. Yeah. And, and there's no pay, pay, you know, pay phone or anything. You're just sort of stuck. Now... I really like this little GPS. This is uh, the Mio H610 GPS. And, and? what's really... Sorry? Ooh. Oh, no, yeah. I said and. And what's really cool about this device, just GPS... It's not just GPS. Well, that's true. But well, first of all, it's just so small. Very so small. this is... Uh, it even has like a belt loop for like a keychain. This is a... Uh, this and, and it's an MP3 player. It's an I'm MP3 so excited. player. She's very excited. <laughs> so it's a GPS, MP3 player, video player, photo player. It'll store your contacts from Outlook. Uh, and it's so it'll so actually... So you can phone a friend yeah, if you get lost. It kinda, so it'll replace your iPod uh, if you have a flash iPod. This, it doesn't have a hard drive. It, has a, it takes uh, M, uh, SD cards. Okay. Um, but it can replace your iPod. If you have like contacts, it'll mm -hmm. keep all your Outlook contacts in there as well. Let me turn it on. It's got a really nice touch screen. So here we are. This is uh, my house. <laughs> on there and uh, again the screen is a touch screen so you can just click on things here like if I click here it'll turn the mute the volume and you know you you can go in there and find and I gotta tell I used this when I was up in Toronto I was shooting call for help with Leo Laporte up in Toronto uh, a, a few weeks ago actually that show should be airing in about a week from now great I Look and I was up it. in Toronto yeah and Andy Walker my friend from Lab Rats uh, set, had uh, something to do one day so he dropped me off downtown Toronto and I said, I have no idea how to get around or where I'm going. So he gives me this thing. Cool. And he says, whatever you need, just punch it in. If you want to go to a Starbucks, punch in Starbucks. And this is, again, this is just for walking. You don't have to use it in a car or it'd be great on a bike as well. You can just say, find Starbucks. And it says, you know, go two blocks this way and two blocks that way and boom, you're there. Or you can say, you know, let's say you want to go, you know, find movie theater, find shopping center, find, uh, uh, you know, a restaurant. You know, what the, you know what that's really great for, uh, my own personal experience? is downtown Oahu in Honolulu, oh, yeah. Hawaii. That is the mo every single street sign ends in a U, L, U, K, starts with a K and has like two A's and an A's in it. Ends in a U. Right. And for someone like me who actually I have to, I have no sense of direction whatsoever, I get so lost. It's not even funny. So this is a, this is the, it, it makes up for that DNA I'm lacking right. in the double helix, and, 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 and it's a modification. So here's That's the main exciting. screen, uh, and let me show you just a couple of the other features. It, I mean, it's got a great GPS in it with moving map, and it, it, it talks to you, turn left here, turn right there, which is cool. It also has, like we said, if you want an MP3 player, here's uh, the MP3 right. player built in. And it has a speaker, it has a which is like speaker. an iPod doesn't have. Yeah, which an iPod doesn't it's, have. It's pretty cool. It, that, that's full volume. So, um, like headset, this probably has pretty good sound now. Headset's got okay sound, and it actually has a regular standard headset jack. So, you get you know. beautiful things. They make a standard head headset jack, a standard SD card, so you don't have yep, to buy all SD card, the standard. extras. I love it when they make standards, rather than some of these cell phones and mm -hmm. things, you got to buy a special this, special that. Yeah, it's... Here's a cute little uh, 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 video. Let's go full screen mode here. There you go. See this nice. little video? Little baby crawling I mean, video. I that's really like... I mean, that's... Bigger screen than the iPod 2, I think. Um, yeah, actually, I think it is a little bit just, bigger. Just slightly, right. not, not a lot bigger. Now, what format does this play? is this playing in? It the plays in MP, you know, MP4, and it'll play DivX files as well. Uh, oh, it plays DivX 2, huh? It plays DivX 2, but there you have to really make sure you format it the right way. You know, it's this... Is that this, like a geeky thing? A little bit, yeah. You've got to format it so that your video will, will play in there. Okay. I wonder if there's like, is there like a website you can go to to like tell you exactly how to format? There's all kinds of websites for, oh, for converting just videos. You. Just it's, call Ben. It, 
His number is. Call me. His number is. There's a thing called the travel kit here. It has a uh, compass uh, here. Like, see that? Check this out. Oh, you can tell which yeah, direction. Yeah, digital compass going. if you want to tell wow. which direction you're going and, and what nice. have you. Uh, and it actually turns when you turn it. It's really cool. Um, what else does it have in here? It's got a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, it's got a thing here. It's got contacts and it's got games. So did we say that it, um, oh yeah, you said it syncs with your Outlook. Syncs with Outlook as well. Uh -huh. It even has on here, so for instance, uh, here's a, uh, let's go back to the world clock. Here's a world clock setting where you can get mm. a bunch of different clocks. So they've thrown a lot of stuff in here, yeah, basically is what I'm trying to say in there. And yet, it's a, it's a really small, cute Very little light. package. Yeah, this is actually, I, I think this is lighter than an iPod. Yeah, could be than the bigger ones. Yeah. yeah, there's no hard drive in it, so it doesn't, uh, right. doesn't take a lot. S uh, charges with USB. Little lock key. Yeah, yeah that way you yeah, don't accidentally. Really. So actually, what kind of battery does it take? It's built in, and, okay, so you charge uh, it. and you charge it with USB. Right. Lasts, you know, as long as you're not using it continuously. It has a standby mode, so you can like look it up where you're going, put it away, come back. And I love that it's touch screen. Touch screen is really mm -hmm. nice too. So I think this is a really, you know, very very well done. Product, yeah, a few I really hundred do. bucks, you know, uh, for this guy. Not, not terribly expensive. Um, Very nice. Yeah. Now, um, what about? I, I notice in in um, in my car, the navigation isn't always as updated. How does oh, this, how well, does this I've got a good. That's a good story about that. So last night, I'm driving to the shopping center on a new highway, the uh, 202 here in Phoenix. And this poor thing. So I, as I turn off of the <laughs> turn off my road, I, onto this, I don't well, know where you it are. It thinks I'm in the middle of a field because obviously the road is too Picking new corn. for this. Yeah, it's like you know, do a U-turn now. Yeah. Oh Go my ahead. God, the humanity! You're killing somebody. You're running people over. You know, it, it doesn't realize there's a road there now. It's not a cornfield. It's not houses. You know, <laughs> it's like turn left, perform a U-turn. And I'm like, no, 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 this is a highway. And I think it's wondering, why am I doing 65 miles an hour through this cornfield? Right. You know? And uh, so it had some trouble you with You were that. going to kill yourself. Pull over. Hopefully you can update the maps on here. because, and, and it's not such a big deal if you live in Toronto or New York or San Francisco, somewhere that has, is older and doesn't have a whole bunch of new roads. Right. Here in Phoenix, where everything is new... You know, uh, mm. new shopping centers yeah. crop up every week around here. It doesn't know. It doesn't know where this building is. Mm. This building. We just built this building last year, and it still doesn't know where these roads are. So this is just another cornfield, according so to. So maybe check the manufacturer's website and see about their yeah. updates for navigation. Yeah, I knew you would love the touch screen uh, love for it. someone with slender fingers such as yourself. It's great. I have and these, with fingernails. Uh, yeah, I have these helps. big fat fingers with very little fingernails. So I find that. On these big screens, like this one here, it's easy because there's a lot of big uh, big stuff. But if I go back into the map mode, there are often some pretty small settings that you have to choose uh, on, on there to that. So, you know, that's that's a small problem. But I, I have to tell you, I, for instance, let me go back into the uh, mode here. If you take a look up and down these uh, the side here, if you can see it, um, pretty small little buttons. Well, yeah, they're small for you, but not for me. I mean... I mean, those, this is my stylus right here. That's right. Ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. You should, like, shave it into, like, a oh, point. The one thing I would suggest, yeah. if I may make a suggestion to the manufacturer, um, one tiny suggestion. I, I know this comes with a separate little stylus, but I would definitely like to see a built-in stylus right here for those Like a little bigger, pen thing that pops out. Yeah, a little pen something for those bigger-fingered people. But you're not going to so dock at a point for that. they can't keep complaining about the small stuff. Right. Um, <laughs> So a little, yeah, a little stylus of some sort that actually is integrated into the system. That's not a separate. My uh, my my cons for this, my you know, are too minor to take at a point. I guess. Oh, and it doesn't I, stand up, so you can't like really watch a show without. It does not stand up. In fact, up. they could have made it stand up if they had put this little belt loop or uh, not belt loop. What do you call it? Lanyard uh, mm -hmm. wrist loop, wrist strap thing. If they had put that somewhere else, it, it, it and could they could have add a stylus up. to it at the same time. We've just redesigned it. We've just improved the product. It's not enough to dock we can't help for it. me. I am going to give this product a 5 out of 5. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't possibly not give it a 5 out of 5 either. I, it's, it's a very, very nice product. Uh, I agree. So that's Absolutely. 5 out of 5 for Tiffany. And 5 out of 5 for me for the Mio H610 GPS. If you're looking for a GPS that you can walk and bike and put in your car, it comes, with, get a, lost. comes with a suction Unless mount. Unless you're in a cornfield. I should mention it comes with a suction mount for your uh, your okay. uh, uh, windshield. You know? Yeah, who wants to pay three thousand dollars to have the factory one when you can get one just yeah, one like this for a few hundred this. bucks? Yep. This is probably the device you're looking for. And if you have an extra thirty seconds, take a look at this.
The last few years has seen a proliferation of handheld devices, from cell phones to PDAs to iPods. Yet our clothing has not kept up with this technological advancement. Until now. The technology-enabled clothing system from Scott E. Vest utilizes a patented, hidden personal area network to free users from the tangled wires of cell phone earbuds, CD or MP3 headsets, digital phone cards, battery extenders, and so on. Match this with specially designed pockets that let you carry your gear without visible bulk, and you've got a garment made for today's high-tech lifestyle. Visit their website to see the full line of stylish clothing for the technologically advanced at www.scottevest.com. <laughs>